According to a report by Kaiser Permanente, one-third of Americans say they have trouble meeting their basic human needs, and four in ten said they would turn to their health care provider when looking for helpful resources to meet those needs. Today, providers have more responsibility to their community than just simply focusing on symptoms and primary diagnoses. This is where Z codes come into play. These codes capture a wide scope of non-diagnostic factors that influence a patient's health status, which includes social and environmental factors. So let's get into what exactly they are and how they help healthcare providers better serve their community. Hi everyone, I'm Maria from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about Z codes in medical billing. Before I get started, it would mean a lot if you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also, don't be afraid to hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new content, you get notified. Z codes are a subcategory of the International Classification of Diseases 10th Revision Codes, or ICD-10. They help define and report patients' social, economic, and environmental determinants, which directly affect their health. These codes are not considered procedure codes. This means that a corresponding procedure code must accompany a Z code to describe any procedures performed. You can find these codes in many different healthcare settings, such as a doctor's office, hospitals, and skilled nursing facilities. Z codes are important because they act as a further explanation for a patient's visit to a healthcare facility. Depending on the encounter, Z codes can be either a principal or first listed code or a secondary code. However, some Z codes are not interchangeable between these diagnosis codes. Z codes can sometimes only be a principal or first listed code or only a secondary code. Again, it all depends on the specific situation. This might seem obvious, but Z codes always start with a letter Z, with numbers and or letters following. Some common Z codes include the following. Z00.4, General Psychiatric Examination, Not Elsewhere Classified. Z03.2, Observation for Suspected Mental and Behavioral Disorders. Z09.3, Follow-up Examination After Psychotherapy. Z13.4, Special Screening Examination for Certain Developmental Disorders in Childhood. Z56.0, Unemployment. Z59.0, Homelessness. And Z59.3, Problems Related to Living in a Residential Institution. So why are Z codes so important in our healthcare system today? They help providers elevate their patient care potential. Z codes can help provide a larger scope on a patient's health and wellness status. This allows providers to personally tailor care plans based on a multitude of factors. Z codes also offer support for healthcare planning and resource allocation. This means that policy health agencies can use these codes to identify public health trends and therefore distribute resources as needed. Insurance and reimbursement also depend on accurate Z code documentation. Z codes are key to provide the best care and treatment services for your patients. Understanding this subsection of ICD-10 codes is important for everyone, from healthcare professionals to coders and administrators. As the healthcare field evolves and changes, staying knowledgeable about coding practices keeps your organization competitive. If you'd like to learn more about Z codes, reach out to eTactics. And since you've made it this far into the video, give it a like, a comment, and share.